Hi! Since the last video, I have finished the leg of my sock. Today we will start with the heel and since we will only knit the heel over one half of the stitches, I have set another marker to mark the end of the heel stitches. I will knit the same boomerang heel as in my previous series, so the first step is to knit all along the heel stitches. By the way, I ended the leg at a point in the first design where the next 5 rounds would have been knit stitches. That way the boomerang heel will fit right into the pattern since we will knit a few rounds of knit stitches in the process of knitting the heel. This was the last heel stitch, so now turn and make a double stitch. For that we slip one stitch as if to purl, hold the yarn behind the needle and pull on the yarn until the two legs of the stitch are wrapped around the needle. Pull the rest of the heel stitches. Turn and make another double stitch. For that, slip one stitch as if to knit, wrap the yarn strand around the needle and pull. Now knit until you get to the last double stitch.
turn and make another double stitch. So we start every row with the double stitch. After that we pull or knit until we get to the last double stitch and turn. As with many other heels, we will divide our heel stitches into 3 sections. I have 30 heel stitches, so I will divide my heel stitches into sections of 10 stitches each. If your number of heel stitches is not a multiple of 3, you can just add the extra 1 or 2 stitches to the middle section. We will continue making double stitches until only the stitches in the middle section remain and the stitches in the other two sections are all double stitches. I now have 10 double stitches on each side and 10 normal stitches in the middle. Next we will knit two full rounds. My last row was a front row, so I'm starting right before the double stitches, which will be knitted as normal knit stitches.
the double stitches on this side are knitted a bit differently. Knit the first double stitch as usual and then knit the rest of them through the back loops. I will now knit the rest of the round so that I have knitted two full rounds of knit stitches. In the next video I will show you how to knit the second part of the heel and also how to make small holes disappear. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or suggestions you can leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.